Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am so excited to show you two new products that I have completely jumped on the bandwagon for. First off, I have the Nivea Men Sensitive Cooling Post Shave Balm that Nikki Tutorials raves about as a foundation primer. And I have the recently mentioned by Kathleen Lights, RCMA No Color Powder. I got this off beautylish.com. It was sold out, but I put in my phone number to get text alerts when it came back in stock. And so I got the text right when I was at work. I put in a quick little secret order and I actually got it just a couple days later. The packaging was adorable, so definitely gives them some props to Beautylish for their cute packaging and quick delivery. I know it sold out again, but if you're interested after this video in getting this product, definitely go to beautylish.com, put in your phone number and they'll give you that that text alert as well when it comes back in a stock. All right, so starting off, I'm gonna talk a little bit about this Nivea Men um, cooling gel. So it comes in a box like this, 3.3 fluid ounces, which is way more than you would get in a primer from Sephora. Usually those ones range about one ounce, 1 1.5 ounces, and you're looking to pay almost 30, 35 dollars for a primer like that. Maybe some as low as 25, but to get a good primer at Sephora, you're gonna be paying a lot of money for it. When it comes out, this comes in a cute little glass jar. I definitely was not expecting this, seeing how this was $5 and some change at Walmart. So the, the fact that it came in a nice glass jar definitely was a shocker. But the consistency is very milky, creamy consistency. It's very liquidy as well, if that makes sense. So you gotta be careful when you're pouring it out because the first time I used it, it was like a huge glob and I had to get rid of a bunch of it. So I'm super excited for this RCMA powder. This is a three ounce container that I got for 10 dollars okay now I've loved my Laura Mercier don't get me wrong but this is one ounce for $38 and this is three ounces for $10 so you're looking at this amount of product would be over a hundred dollars in the Laura Mercier when you're getting it for ten bucks five dollars shipping and it's at your door in a couple days so that just is like a no-brainer to me but I'm interested to see how they wear. I'm gonna wear one on one side of my face and one on the other. Basically what I'm thinking to do is wear the Nivea on one side with the powder that I normally use, the Laura Mercier, and then on the other side, I'm gonna use a primer that I normally use with the new RCMA primer. So I'm gonna try two new products on two sides of my face and see how they wear throughout the day, see if it makes a difference in my lasting power or if they're just equal and they stay the same because even if it does the exact same job, nothing better, this is a way better deal and I will totally, totally keep going on this little bandwagon thing for this RCMA powder. For the price alone, I'm already thinking I can never spend as much as I did on this ever again. But we will see. I'm going to kind of give you my first impressions as I'm putting them on my face, a quick run through of my makeup, and then hopefully I can get some little footage throughout the day just to see how it's wearing. Uh, we're going out just to hang out for the day, my husband and I, so I'll kind of take you with me and see how they work. So if you're wondering what I have on my eyes today, I actually pulled out my Stila Eyes Are The Window Shadow Palette. This is in the shade Soul, and I love this palette. When I first got it, I used it every single day, and I guess I just forgot that I had it because I haven't been using it for the past couple weeks, but when I saw it, I pulled it out earlier this week and I've used it every day for work. This is my pretty much basic go-to look with it. I use this light shade, this in my transition, and this color in my outer corner and then I'd use these two shimmers right here. This one's Kitten. Oh, it's my favorite. Um, but this is what I have in my eyes today. Love, love, love this palette. I don't have any opinions on the other ones. From what I've swatched, it's not really colors that I would really need in my collection or want in my collection, but this one right here, it's gold, I love this. On my lips too, I have the Tarte Thoughtful Lip Surgeon's Chubby Stick and then just a Sephora gloss that I threw on there. So if you were curious about that too. Anyways, here's the rest of the video. I hope you guys have a great rest of the week and I will see you later. All right, so going in on the left side of my face, I'm going to put the Nivea Men Sensitive Cooling Post Shave Balm. And on the right side of my face, I'm going to use my favorite Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. I like to rub this in quite a bit until it starts to feel tacky. It does smell like a man, but like a nice smelling man. 
not a bad scent. And it does dissipate after a little bit, so it's not like you're smelling like a dude all day. And then the Too Faced on the right. Oh, this one smells so good. It smells like coconut. I love the way this coconut one feels and smells and is so hydrating. And this one does feel and smell nice too. But if we're going on smell alone, definitely got to go with the Too Faced. Okay, so now that we've primed both sides of the face, I'm going to go ahead and go in with my foundation. And then we will catch up when it comes to powders. Okay, so I've done my found. I should probably do my Netflix first. What do you watch when you get ready? I usually do Netflix, or if I'm like obsessed with a Netflix show, it's like I just watch it marathons while I'm getting ready. Right now, I'm watching Chicago Med on NBC. I love the Chicago Med, Chicago Fire, Law and Order, SVU, all that kind of stuff. It's like my kind of tea. That's what I like to watch. Okay, so now I've done my foundation and my concealer. I'm going to go in with the RCMA powder that Kathleen Lights talked about. I'm so excited to use this for the first time. So I'm going to go in with my Morphe M438 and I don't know if I should just stick it right in there or maybe I'll put it in this cap. Boy, that's a lot. So on this side, I'm going to go in with my RCMA since this is the side that I have my normal primer that I would use on. And on this side with the Nivea primer, I'm going to use my Laura Mercier products that I would have used before. So I've just primed underneath my eye with the RCMA and then I'm going to go in with my secret brightening powder from Laura Mercier on my other side and we'll kind of compare and see the brightness, um, how it compares. So first feeling, this feels so smooth. This one feels soft, but this one feels really smooth. I can see that maybe this side is a little bit brighter for as far as setting it goes, but let's do the whole face. So I'm gonna go in with the RCMA all over this side of my face. Let's get that set. I'll get that packed in there. And then on this side, we'll do my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. Okay, RCMA, Laura Mercier. I feel more product on this side. Like this side feels so smooth and I can, I feel like I feel powder. Man, I'm just crazy. But, it feels really nice. I feel like you could see more powder on this side. Like my skin is dry, so it's gonna look dry, but this side, it actually looks really smooth. Oh boy, I'm liking this. All right, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and finish up and I will come back at the end with some final thoughts on what I think.
So just some final thoughts. I really like the way both of them applied. I'm sure you could see in the video that this side with the RCMA went on way wider than this side with the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. As of right now, it seems pretty similar. There's not too many differences, but I'm interested to see how it wears throughout the day. So if the RCMA can last just as long as the Laura Mercier and do the same job, hands down this will be my new powder. For $10, you cannot beat that and this little three ouncer is going to last forever. My only complaints is that it's kind of weird. It comes in a shaker type thing. So you could either dab your brush there, but I like having the flat surface where I could dump some out and tap my brush in, which you technically can do in here. It's just an uneven surface and it's hard because you're dumping out quite a bit. And so then you have to try to get it back and forth and try to get back in there. That would be my only complaint for this powder. But so far so good, I think they look pretty even. So I will definitely have to check in and let you guys know how it wears throughout the day. Again, I have the Nivea on the left side of my face for men, my regular primer on this side, and then my Laura Mercier on this side, and the RCMA on this side of my face. All right, everyone, so I just wanna do a quick update video. I have had my makeup on for about three hours now, and we went out, got the dogs groomed, and now we're back home again. I see that it's pretty much lasted pretty well on each side. It looks pretty much the same. It kinda of sinks because the lighting isn't all that great in here. But it looks looks pretty good. Hey. Looks great. Which side do you think looks better? This half or this half? Look at it. This half. That half looks better? I don't know. <laughs> Just wanted to do a quick check-in. Um Today we have been relaxing. I actually fell asleep for a little bit, but I fell asleep on my back so I wouldn't screw up my makeup. What I am finding is that this side has held up way better. It's hard to tell in this light, but in natural lighting, this looks like it was just put on. Whereas this side, my highlight has kind of fallen off. And I think that attests to how good the Nivea primer is that my makeup has not moved from this side of my face. When I'm looking in the mirror, this looks like I just put it on. Maybe not on the camera, but in real life it really does. And then this side, while it's still set nicely, I feel like it's worn off a little bit more than this side has. So we're about to go out on a date and I'll try to check in after the date if I remember. But... In my thoughts right now, I definitely love this Nivea primer. This is awesome for five bucks. I mean, you just can't beat it. And as far as the powder goes, I mean, my face is still set nice. So I feel like it's just as good as a Laura Mercier so far, but I think I was looking in the wrong place that whole time. But anyways, I'll check back in later and yeah, I'll see you after date time. All right, everyone, so here is one last little update on the two products I wore today. Just got back from date night. We went to Dave & Buster's and then walked around an outdoor mall all night. So it is now 10 p.m. and my makeup has been on for about 10 or 11 hours now. I definitely can see a huge difference on this side of my face in person. Um, this is the side that I use the Nivea Men shave balm for the primer and it significantly made a big difference with the long wear of my makeup. You may not be able to tell on this camera angle thing, but I love it. It works so good. I definitely would recommend this Nivea and as far as the powder goes, I mean, it held up just as well as the Laura Mercier, so if it's something that you want to try out, definitely give it a chance. Once it's back in stock, for sure, um, 10 bucks, you can't beat it for a finishing powder. As always, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Hey, baby. It's beautiful speech, Dad. Are you videotaping? Yeah. Right now? Yeah. Oh, my bad. Hello. How's it doing? I had this face today. You look like you're glowing. <laughs> like. We're going to wear this. <laughs> oh, holy cow. 
this is am i gonna say that in the intro or right now where do i go from here where do i go from here right now i'm watching chicago med it's on nbc and i really like this show um usually i watch netflix or catch up on my shows so I had to meet that normal primer is that a good test? I think that will be a good test. So we'll put the normal powder on here and then we'll do my old powders, my Laura Mercier's over here. Or should I just do the whole face in this? And when you take it out, it's actually in a glass bottle, which actually I was, it's actually, actually, actually. So it comes in a box like this. It's 3.3, 3.3. .3. Here is the video. So then comes the RCMA prime primer. I'm on the primer thing. 